Hi everyone, this video we're about to see is a year old and goes a bit through the architecture of the client and the server, but mostly on the server side. And uh, it shows a little bit how things work, uh, how the realm boots and uh, the contents and that stuff. And I think it can be an interesting reference to one of the next videos that I'm going to publish, which is the current server architecture. So this is how it was roughly a year ago. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions and enjoy it. Hi everyone. One of the things I have been asked is how I have my project set up. Do I have a dedicated server or uh, is it uh, in Unity or how does it work? So today I would like to show you how I have my project set up and uh, how I manage to test client and server at the same time and uh, why I do so. So the first thing I would like to show you is that I have uh, three scenes here and um, the login scene is actually to start the game in the login screen and uh, the canvas basically only has this interface for that and uh, this client still live is going to be a scene that will persist throughout the, throughout the whole game so it kind of works as a bit of a ho holding uh, singletons, holding uh, managers so like for example this music manager which will persist through the game scenes transitions and it can fade in fade out the music so it's really nice and finally we have the server master this server master will actually be responsible for booting the other two servers which will be the continent uh, 1 and continent 2 they could be any regions could be uh, re two regions inside the continent but for this purpose we'll just call them continent to illustrate better the separation of servers and um, this all system will take care of the dedication of the players to the server. Um, here also there's this canvas, but that's just to, to show information, this here on the bottom, for testing purposes. And uh, yeah, so first thing we'll see is that uh, as soon as I press play, and it starts loading, then the two uh, servers will boot up with their own regions. So yeah, that's one and that's two, and each of them has their own uh, sets of logic and code running, and eventually they will be separated into their own processes running parallel to the real master. But as it is, when I make a build, I just bundle them together because there's just no need to split them into multiple processes. Um, but obviously later on, we'll definitely need that with a um, with a pro proper infrastructure. Um, so yeah, I think it's a pretty simple setup and like this I can test client and server at the same time without much hassle because I'm a one person team when it comes to coding I prefer to have a much easier development uh, process than having a, a separate um, code base for the server and one for the client however, I do use assembly definitions for the server which means that the client cannot access server classes and vice versa, also for the client. So that's really nice. And uh, yeah, you can just log in. And here we go. So right now I am logged into uh, the servers and I am in content one. So yeah. So I can see that I'm uh, logged into the continent one, and here I am. And yeah, I think this is a very easy setup. To, that allows me to quickly develop client and server at the same time without having a very complicated flow of builds and server builds and client builds that you can just press play and everything runs at the same time so it's easier, much easier for me to develop and debug things while uh, testing out the game so yeah, let me know your thoughts and your feedback and if you have any questions about this uh, setup or any suggestions, let me know and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.
If you are new to the channel, I am publishing devlogs and sharing my experience with creating an MMORPG in Unity. You can see my previous devlogs since May 2019, and there is a lot of material that I haven't posted yet from the very beginnings, and I plan to publish some of it later on. So if you want to get notified when new videos are out, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon. Because I am a small content creator, smashing the like button will help me out a lot.